All right, so with our uh, teams, we're going to go ahead, and before we actually delete the wiki, I think it's important that we understand the structure of the wiki. So here I have a sample, and you know, it's just uh, we're going through the web view, but I have a little demo team I've set up, Project X, and we have a couple of pages. So here's one in the wiki page, digitally, digital transformation, me diving, um, and then we have another page and if you go there we got another section and stuff you know just to represent having a wiki and how to restore that if we inadvertently delete it but to take a look at it the wiki here is not the same wiki as we typically are used to in SharePoint when you instantiate one as an app so let's take a look we're going to go to the underlying SharePoint to look at this wiki and the structure and that'll help us understand how to restore it and if we go to files open in SharePoint it's going to go ahead and we open that document and we document library we can go to now site contents and here we will see teams wiki data it's always going to be called this right this is not again and just to show you if I go in let's create an app and we'll call it um, my oh, we're looking for the wiki app right create it Mike's wiki we'll create that there we go so now we have this week and notice it is different right these are very different this one if we click on it the traditional SharePoint one always takes us uh, to this view and right into the the um, wiki itself this one however it's actually it says wiki data it stores things differently in fact if I click on it we'll see a general folder there we go and when we go into the general folder we're gonna see MHT pages dot mht and there's also my image that i uploaded so we have these dot mht pages and they're not really the same it's taking data and rendering it then through teams now when we're in the folder right i'm now in this teams wiki folder and here to take a look at some of the attributes of it what we need to do is we enter you know we clicked on the teams wiki data then we come up here to the settings and we say library settings we want to see the settings for it we're not concerned though with this stuff here what we're really looking for is here over to the far left under teams wiki data um, it's starting with a 19 we're going to see this string of information and when we click it it renders out everything that's been done with our wiki and this is important we're going to need to get to this to restore the properties of our wiki so uh, if for example I go ahead and click on let's say page I want to show you something down here under the attributes it says wiki deleted no remember that because when I remove the tab this will get switched to yes so all this will now be deleted so let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and back on up right we'll get back into here Actually, we'll go one further back. So we're right here in the site settings. So let's come now to our team, and we're going to do that issue that Gabrielle saw. So we come here, and accidentally, you know, oh, you have this wiki. You've built out a whole bunch of stuff, and maybe you click the wrong tab. And even though you get warned, you know, you haven't had your coffee yet, you click it. Remove the tab boom it's it's gone there is no way here to just restore it if you select the add a tab function in wiki it's going to create a new wiki if I come back here to underlying the SharePoint underneath the team and I refresh it you'll see it still says teams wiki data it has not been expunged however if I click on it and then we're going to go to that the gear again up in the upper right hand corner as soon as this renders out my little demo there we go and we're going to click library settings we're going to come back here to that string select it 
Now watch what happens when I select page. And it opens up wiki deleted. Yes. So it, that's going to go for each of these attributes. They're all considered deleted. What we need to do is now undelete those and restore. But first thing we're going to do is we need to get a placeholder tab. So we're going to do exactly what I said won't help. We're going to go ahead and add a wiki. And we'll name it wiki. There is no other tab like that. We're going to go ahead and save. And in fact, you can see, and if I click here, there's no other information showing. This wiki tab is not, it, it's all, it's brand new. But if I come back here now to that same string, you'll notice here's the wiki we had previously, right, with these sections. Again, if I just to double check to make sure it is, I can click here. Wiki deleted, yes, right? But if I come back out now, you'll see here is this new wiki. And if I click on, let's say, a page here and get the settings, wiki deleted, no. So that's what's actually displaying here. So what we want to do is this. We need to undelete, right? And I haven't tried doing you know, all selection of them. We want to undelete this piece over here. So let's go ahead and we're going to one by one run through and wiki deleted. Yes. No. Let's toggle that off. Come on. Did it accept it? Whoops. I don't want share section there. No, okay, sometimes it's a little funky when you're doing it, but go through page, wiki deleted. No, there we go, saving, good. Next section, wiki deleted, no. Boom. Page, wiki deleted, no. And finally, at the top level, wiki deleted, no. Now, I'm going to come back to our team and let's go back to our wiki. So we've undeleted them. Shouldn't they show up here? No, they don't. And the reason is because this is still exists and it is a separate wiki. So we're going to come on back here. And what we're going to do then is in this case, right, we're going to go ahead and we have the option to delete each of these sections in the wiki. So I'm gonna go ahead and select delete. Yeah, all right. We'll do the same with this page, delete. So what we're doing is getting rid of the one that is bound to it right now. Delete, boom. So those have all been deleted. We still, ha we have our original and now if I come back here, let's get out of that wiki view, right? We want a refreshed view. We're going to come back here. Look, it's tying. Oh, boom. And it's restored. So again, the process, if you delete, if you remove the wiki is to add the wiki tab, it will not be associated with it. Then you go to the underlying SharePoint and under site contents, open the Teams Wiki data. You then need to, each of the old ones, they'll be at the top. The new one will be below, the new Wiki, right? So for each of these sections, you need to go in and you need to, where it says Wiki deleted, you need to change that status uh, to no. They'll be saying yes. And once you're done with the new wiki that's associated, delete it. And at that point, your old will be restored.